Hey, what's going on guys? It's Luigi Carl here bringing you some more Minecraft weekly news. We got a bunch of fun stuff for you this week. We got the Minecraft 1.19.1 pre-releases 3 and 4. Minions have made their way into Minecraft and the Create Mod has some new stuff for you. That and a whole bunch more. But first, if you do like this style of content, please be sure to subscribe guys. It helps out a ton and it makes it so you can stare at Enderman without anything happening. So go ahead and give it a shot right after you subscribe to this video and let me know how it goes in the comments below. But let's go ahead and jump right into this week's news. First up, let's just get these right out of the way because we have to do them basically every week at this point is the Minecraft 1.19.1 pre-releases. So the first one we're going to talk about is number three. Now this pre-release is pretty much what we've come to expect in the last few weeks here. It's mainly more chat changes. But before I jump into it, I do want to tell you guys, I am tired of all the negativity around this. I know everyone's upset and I am very upset with them as well. However, I don't want that bringing down the tone of the rest of my videos. So I am going to try to keep this light, even though I'm very aware that everyone's upset. I got a whole video coming for that very soon. But let's just keep this light and fun and go over the basic news here. The main changes in this update are that they move the chat scroll bar to the right hand side instead of the left hand side of the chat and that system messages are now displayed in gray. There's also various bug fixes and such, however those are the main two changes for this update. And the same thing with pre-release number four is honestly just like two bug fixes and some small technical changes that we will be breaking down in a future video. So honestly nothing important that you really need to know about, it's just I'm still working on these same chat features. However, we got something pretty fun up next, but real quick, I gotta go change into my suit because you can't talk about the minions without being in a suit, obviously. So give me just a second. All right, we should be ready here. Minecraft is getting the minions. Now, what this means is it's basically another sort of the content packs for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. In this content pack, you will be playing as Groot and you will be battling the Vicious Six and this will be them and their new Zodiac forms. Now, I don't exactly know what any of that means, but if you've seen the movie, I imagine this is pretty interesting to you at least. Next up is something awesome. I just watched the new Create video. Now, if you don't know what Create is, it is probably one of the coolest Minecraft mods ever and it's still being updated to this date. I'm gonna put a bunch of footage up there of what they just did as their new trailer. However, this doesn't even begin to cover all the things that Create can do. I was absolutely blown away from this trailer and as you're probably watching it now on screen, it is very, very impressive. This mod is absolutely something I would love to look at more in the future. However, I will not pretend to know stuff I don't know. So I will go spend the next few weeks working on this mod and I'll come back to you with a more detailed description of what's exactly going on and why everyone should probably try out this mod at least at some point. If you wanna see the rest of that trailer, definitely go watch the video. I'll go ahead and link it down in the description below, but let's just move on with the rest of the news for this week. Up next, as most of you will know, Technoblade did pass away last week and as I already broke that down and kind of talked about that in my last video I'm not going to go over that again However, Mojang did some amazing things this week in his honor So I did want to highlight those as something great that Mojang has done this week Not only was he added as a splash text that says Technoblade never dies, which is one of his sayings on YouTube They also put a crown on top of the Minecraft pig at the launch screen So if you go to launch up your game, you'll see that the Minecraft pig now has a crown that's because Technoblade's skin was a pig with a crown, so this is in his honor as well. As I said it before, this guy was an icon to many, and this is a great gesture from Mojang. Moving into some of the last things for this week, my setup, the Mythic Prison setup, is very, very close to release. Now, if you don't know what that is, you definitely got to join our Discord and check it out. It is something that is going to redefine how prison servers are done on Minecraft. I will have a trailer for that in the next few days. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a heads up now that if you're not in the Discord, now is a great time to join it. The link will be down in the description below. But it is that time of week again. It is the Twitter showcase time. If you guys have been watching for a minute, you'll probably remember me covering the first chapter of the Geyser art. However, they have gone ahead and done the Geyser concept art chapter two. I'll go ahead and put it up on screen now. This is from the user Hero Ivan 8 this is on Twitter and it was absolutely amazing what he's done. It's some great ideas and I like to see not only art, but I like to see people imagining how Minecraft could be and coming up with ideas themselves that hopefully Mojang will see at some point and consider adding to the game. However, that is all the Minecraft news I have for this week. If you think I missed something, join in the Discord below and send me a link to it. I would love to cover it in next week's video. 
If you like this video, go ahead and hit like on the video. And if you love this video, please be sure to subscribe. We have news like this for you every freaking week. But besides for that, guys, that's all I have for you this week. Luigi Cal out.